Hello everybody. Today we're going to install or at least attach the engine to the RV. Okay, right off the bat, I know what you're thinking. Is this guy going to lift his brand new engine with a ladder and an old trolley? And the answer is yes. Although I am a member of the Dutch EAA chapter, the NVAV, and we do probably have, no, most certainly have an engine lift. Uh, it's too much work. You have to go there, get it, and uh, I just wanted to lift it. So I figured it should be good enough to just use an old ladder and, uh, and an old trolley. It should do the job. Okay, so I'm first unpacking the engine in the crate. The crate was uh, collected by myself in an earlier video uh, from UL Power in Belgium. And it's a complete engine with everything in there. So you have to tie uh, a strap on the yellow hook and uh, and the crankshaft, and this way you can uh, you can lift it up. Uh, later, the yellow, uh, let's say, lift hook is going to be um, removed. I used an extra backup uh, strap, probably not necessary, but yeah, you never know. While my dad's uh, lifting putting the cables lifted, I guided between the ladder. And what I did is I um, I enforced the ladder on the bottom with uh, some straps so the the legs wouldn't you know slide out. It turns out that you have to it's very hard to get the engine in uh, because of the rubbers uh, which they have a very good fit and um, so although I very uh, I greased them a little bit they still hard to get in there. And uh, the trick is to get your airplane level. So uh, by lifting tail, I could get the right uh, level. So all the rubbers go in the um, the engine uh, mount parts. But still, it's hard. It's uh, the rubbers are they're new and they are the bolts are not that long. So it's uh, it takes it took a considerable time. Uh, and we have to, as you can see, we push and, and, and try to you know, dent a little bit the, uh, the rubbers. And uh, of course you have to be careful there. You cannot use the uh, bolts as a, as a crowbar to drive them, so you have to be careful there. Um, a lot of ways we tried it. And in the end it worked. So that was good. <laughs> As you can see, it took a considerable time, and uh, yeah, we didn't want to screw screw up the um, the attach points, so you have to be careful there. I think here we uh, we finally fixed it, and uh, and also there's not that much room. Uh, there's much more room than with a Lycoming engine or a Continental because of the extension that's in there, the gray the gray part. On which we will talk later more, but um, but still, uh, it, it's uh, it's a cramped place. So, uh, but here we finally fixed it, and um, yeah, checking the installation manual to see if we got everything there. So then we can remove everything, remove the um, the ladder and uh, the straps, and start well finishing the. Um, the installation, which takes a long time because uh, you know just hanging the engine is, is one thing, but then uh, installing everything that's a lot of work. But we're just uh, starting on it. Um, so, one of the first things we are going to do is remove uh, the, the parts that we don't need. So, the yellow hook, and there is another part. Uh, uh, engine block on the bottom that does it being to be it needs to be removed and um, then we can start unwrapping un all the wires so the the wires on top of the engine is uh, is the ECU connector the ECU connector uh, and the wiring loom for the uh, from the engine towards the ECU that is delivered with the engine so you don't have to build that yourself which is a good thing probably, because that would be a lot of work. Trying to work on the, um, the throttle cable 
and the uh, the fuel lines. So we're connecting uh, the fuel lines right now. There's uh, there are two lines. There's one uh, uh, feed line and then there's a return line because it's an um, an inject fuel injected engine. There is return line because uh, well the the fuel pumps push up too much uh, fuel there, and uh, so what's not used by the engine is going to be returned. Se second thing is um, the exhaust system. So the engine has run in the on a test uh, bed in the uh, factory, and um, once you have uh, installed the engine, you need to remove the copper rings that uh, seal the exhaust. Uh, it's hard to get them out, as you can see, but we finally uh, got it fixed, and then we use a little um, grease to get the new copper rings stick in there, so we can attach the exhausts. Also, the the copper rings, new copper rings are also delivered with the engine. So everything is actually delivered there. You don't have to buy new stuff. Everything is in there. Now it's hard to get all the screws in because uh, the curves of the exhaust system and uh, the space is very narrow. So it's hard to get them uh, to get the exhaust fixed again. Uh, my dad is working on the exhaust system and I'm working on the throttle. So the throttle is um, going to my uh, console, my central console. I created my own uh, throttle quadrant and I have to connect that. And every time I help with inserting the new copper ring. Now what you maybe can see, but I didn't see, or at least we didn't see, is that <laughs> the engine is not uh, installed correctly. Uh, as you can see, there is this uh, grey um, extension mount between the white uh, engine mount and the engine itself. And you can see the the rods are angling up, which is wrong. It should angle down. I didn't know that. I didn't. There, there was no, let's say, this side up sticker on it, so I didn't figure it out. And I just installed it, you know, as I thought it would be good. And since we were just focusing on the installation, we didn't look at the overall, let's say, way it looked. And then when my wife uh, entered the workshop, she said, oh, well, that doesn't fit. Which was a little embarrassing because, well, I was still denying it. Uh, because that's not possible, right? I mean, uh, we did everything we by the book, so... And then I figured, hmm, maybe this extension mount is the wrong way. <clears throat> so when I figured it out, uh, we turned it around, which was a lot of work, but I did it that evening uh, because I, I was just pissed off and I couldn't wait and I had to of course install the yellow hook again and uh, get the ladder in there again. So it was a lot of work, but, uh, but actually doing it the second time went much easier because I also disconnected the, um, the engine extension from the uh, from the engine mount from the white engine mount and that actually made it much easier easier because this way I could much easier uh, install the engine okay continuing building my pie in the sky <laughs> 